Mm. What's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> I'm out here putting in that 350. Doing the doing the uh the last little bit of it. I just got it in. It's the whole it's Sunday, man. I done missed the whole Saturday in the bed. Yeah, get me. But I'm out here today. Thank God for this beautiful weather today, because I thought it was about to be raining. So <clears throat> I, um I'm not gonna do a whole video on installing this thing. I just wanna show you the sequence on putting it back in. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you gotta put certain pieces in first. And I took certain pieces out. Like I took this bracket out. This bracket goes behind this with two little screws. And um, I just feel like uh, I don't need it. <laughs> so it's easier with less shit in your engine bay. You know what I'm saying? So that's the one I took out. I took this out and I'm getting rid of it, period. You know what I'm saying? It holds this wire right here. This is the wire that goes to the back of your, uh, to the back of your, uh, alternator. So it's going to be in there. Um, I guess I can zip tie up, zip tie up right here so it can be more sturdy. But I don't need that bracket to keep that straight. You know what I'm saying? I don't need that. So what I did was, um, first things first is, uh, I took that bracket out. That's gonna make your job easier. I took these two plugs down there out from the jump. That's gonna make your job easier. And so the first things first is I put the alternator in. Then I put this in, this bracket. I mean, it's just kind of self-explanatory. Basically what made it hard was that bracket in the back. We don't even need that. So that's what I really want to come tell y'all, man. But the 350 on the way, putting it in right now, man. I better put hook my, uh, I got the wires, the zero gauge coming in. So I'm probably had to cut a hole in, cut a hole right here on each side. Be careful, do not cut no hole in here on this side because you're going to hit some brake lines or whatever lines those is. I don't know what that is. But um, I'm going to cut some holes right here and it's going to, my, my zero gauge is going to go. I got my zero gauge, but I don't think I'm using this one. I got some black one, a black wire coming in. So, uh, yeah, man. One step at a time, man. 350 amps for the uh, 4,000 watt system I'm about to put in here. You get me. Brand new alternator, ain't got to worry about that. I got this for like $332. It's not too bad. That bitch looking good, too. But yeah, I ain't gonna talk y'all to death, man. I'm about to uh, button this thing up, man. I guess I can show y'all what it look like when it's all buttoned up. But yeah, I'm gonna get with y'all. What's good? Oh, shit. I mean, Walmart had to go to... Uh, um, I'm all done putting that uh, alternator in the car. I just had to go buy one thing because I got to... Uh, uh, put my zero gauge in where my battery's at. And I want to keep my cover, so I, I got to, like, drill a hole. So this is what you need to drill a hole. You feel me? It's called a camera acting retarded. Only got one hand. Okay. Titanium step drill bit. Five, six dollars at Walmart. And this should get you straight. This should, uh, you should be able to cut a hole damn near through your firewall with this. Feel me? I got one at the house, I just lost it, so I had to go buy another one. But, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get back at the house and get the drill in the hole. All right, I'm back at the crib, about to do what I do. About to drill this drill. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about right quick. All right, we're here at the car. And um, this is my zero gauge coming up from the uh, from the alternator. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta hook this up to the positive side of the battery. And then I gotta get another, I'm gonna cut this zero gauge because I don't need all this. And I'ma uh, hook it up to uh, probably I probably hook it up to here from the negative side, but I'ma have to I'ma have to cut a hole, drill a hole right here possibly, and up right here, cause I don't wanna I wanna keep my cover. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and drill, see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill that with that with that. Um, yeah, get me. Let me get started. This is how we looking so far. I ain't putting no oil, no grease, no nothing on that thing. I'm just gonna WD. Oh no, I'm just gonna cut it. Fuck it. I ain't even tripping. So far, so good. 
All right, there it go. It's that hole. Uh, I might go to Home Depot one day this week and get a grommet, a, a piece of rubber to go around it. You know what I'm saying? You push it in and put a grommet in so it can look better than what it is. Um, yeah, that's all, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm doing for right now, man. Um, cutting them holes. I'm going to cut another hole underneath this one. When I actually get the subwoofers put in, either that or find another location to cut. But it's look like that's all I got right there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut another hole right but right here. I'm gonna cut it high. So I can get to that so I can get to that ground. I want that ground to come around. Boom. Boom. Uh I might get another screw. Put right here. Take this one out and see. And get put it right here for my ground. But yeah, man, this is a pretty much it's called a big free setup. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm just I'm just gonna do the the the, the upgraded power wire to the to the power and the upgraded ground. I ain't doing too much extra. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, get them comments, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. I was gonna end the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the second hole. And that's that. That's when I get the uh, when I, when I when I set up my ground, well, I probably don't do that till tomorrow, man. I just cut the hole today, so all I gotta do is just tomorrow. All I gotta do is just, you know, what I'm saying, cut the wire and hook everything up. This shouldn't, this shouldn't, this shouldn't, this shouldn't be hard. Nothing hard. You feel what I'm saying? I'll be able to, I'll be able to keep my top closed. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. It ain't closing because of that, but. Better. You feel me? That big free setup. You get me. But let me uh I got something else I'm gonna do. Alright, um we back in the G inside the G we about to We about to install this. We're not about to install it, but we about to mount the amp and the and the processor. So by the, this is how big the trunk is. Small as hell. Everything in here is small as hell. Which is cool though. It's cool though. So I'm gonna put that all, hopefully I can this is not up, not too down. I'll be able to close it. Um I probably just have my highs on this back thing and put my subwoofer amp inside of there. Whenever I get it, <clears throat> I probably have it in front. Um mm, we're gonna see. Or maybe like right here. I might just put it right here. So I can get to it and it had the amps facing that. I mean the sub was facing me. But uh yeah, let me let's let's get I got let me show what kind of ooh. let me show what kind of screws I got. You know what I'm saying? These these tip these gonna cut through. That's gonna cut through this this seat and, and be secure. You get me. So let me um install these and show you what it's looking like. What I did was uh I screwed one down and I'm just gonna see if uh it's the, if, the, if the trunk gonna close. I got enough space for the trunk to close. You feel me? I believe I believe we're good. I believe we're fitted. The trunk is closed. I don't want to all the way close it. So I gotta get out and so I'm gonna leave that right there and I'm gonna use that as like my baseline for the, what I do the amp. Like so I'm not gonna go no higher than that. And I'm not gonna go no lower. So I probably had an amp facing horizontal. Yeah, so let me put the, finish putting the rest of these screws in. I should have uh, put it the other way, but it's fine. All right, I'm in here. It's all set up. We all done for the day. Everything is all stable and established. I'm going to fold the seat back up so you can see the seat close. We're going to pray the seat close. Seat is closed. As you can tell, I'm getting out this mug. <clears throat> yes, sir. So that's the setup for the, uh, for the, for the, uh, for the highs. I got my, I got some six by nines, six and a half DS-18s. 
and uh, we ready to go. We just waiting for the uh, 14 gauge in the mail in the in the uh, RCA cables. We got the we got the uh, we got the 350 amp alternator in there. Everything ready to go, man. Everything's buttoned up, buttoned down. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Hold on, Let me see what it looks like. Look, like we right on the cusps, but we don't have no room for nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I probably should install it. I probably take it out and install it when I get my other amp like this with it closed, so I can see how much room I really got. Cause if I can, I need to be able to fit two of them amps right there, and I should be able to. I might, <clears throat> shit, I might install this right here. But I don't know. We're gonna see. But uh, this is how I'm gonna leave it for right now. It's gonna be it for the time being until I get the subwoofers put in. But uh, like, share, subscribe, man. Holla at your boy.